Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let us go through types of attributes. So attributes are divided into six types guys. The first type will be simple attribute, composite attribute, single valued attribute, multi valued attribute, derived attribute, key attribute. Fine. So simple attribute an attribute which cannot be divided into sub attributes. The symbol of simple attribute will be a small oval. So basically this cannot be further be divided fine so i hope everyone got a small idea on this simple attribute so now let us go through composite composite attribute can be divided into sub attributes is called as composite attributes so i hope everyone got a small idea now on com composite attribute so composite attribute the best example will be your name you will be having your first name your middle name your last name so this will be your composite attribute fine okay so further moving on Okay, that's what I have just written on the next page. Fine. Single valued. Single valued attribute. So, an attribute that has a single value for a particular entry is called as single valued attribute. So, it is going to have a single value, the only value in it. Fine. Then, multi valued attribute. An attribute that has many values for a particular entry is called as multi valued attribute. The symbol will be double O well, guys. Fine. Simple valued and single valued attributes having the same symbol. Please remember that. So now let us go through derived attribute. So derived attribute is nothing but it is derived from another attribute value. So if the derived attribute, the best example will be if there is a table in which you are having your grade marks, the average will be stored in your in your career table, right? So that is derived table from that guys. Okay, so it is represented with dotted oval. Fine. Okay, so further moving on. Key, key, the key is identified uniquely is called as key attribute. So we are having Aadhaar number, PAN number and many other numbers which are completely unique. Those will be coming under key. It is identified uniquely is called as key attribute. The symbol of key attribute is this. So if we take a small example, student will be our entity, phone number will be multi-valued, fee will be the single valued, S name will be the composite yes and s number will be our key valued and average will be your derived so i hope everyone got a clear idea on this so in the next tutorial we'll be going to start about relations and its types thank you thanks for watching